the way that it works with a conventional mortgage is because you put more than 20% down, um, if there was a foreclosure proceeding that was then initiated, um, the banks um, would basically start the foreclosure proceedings if you're in arrears. Um, it would go to court uh, as part of the court process. They would end up, uh, the, the court typically, because you already have equity in the property, so you have like more than 20% equity essentially in the mm -hmm. property, right? So you would end up then um, where they would start the foreclosure proceedings, um, but based on the fact that there's equity, the court's likely to then grant you at least a six-month redemption period because of the fact that you're above water. So with a six month redemption period, the way that it works is that um, the courts will then allow you six months to redeem the mortgage or bring it back into good standing. Mm -hmm. um, so during that period of time, they give you an order saying you now have this six month grace period essentially, or, or they may shorten it depending on how much equity is in it or how high risk it is, right? But if you are to then bring the mortgage back into good standing by paying off the arrears, like if you're two months behind, you pay off those two months, there's an automatic stay of enforcement with the court proceedings. And then the bank can't continue on with the foreclosure proceedings. It's, it's done, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you don't bring it back into good standing, then at some point after the six month redemption period is then expired, the court will then, or the, the bank will then apply to get a further order to then um, uh, basically for a final order for foreclosure on the house. So with that order, basically the court then will then turn over the property to the bank. The bank will then be at liberty to do whatever they want with it, which include listing and selling it or, or doing whatever they need to do to recover at that point. But then with the sale of the home, they will then have to sell that house and then anything in terms of equity, they have to basically kind of prioritize and pay out everything, including themselves. The remaining balance of those funds will then be held in trust in court and then will be paid out to this to the owner of the home, not the bank, right? Like mm -hmm. the, the individual owner. Mm -hmm. 